put this on before you go to that D appointment. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra Michelle. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you already subscribed, sorry about that. If you're already subscribed, that's what's up. Comment CC Squad down below in the comment section. And let's get into today's video. So today I just have my wine glass because in today's video we are going to talk about girl subjects which is feminine hygiene. We're going to be talking about feminine hygiene today and my hygiene routine and my little struggles of what I learned and how I'm just improving my femininity because I spent my teenage years living with my father who didn't teach me some of the things that I needed to learn although I did continue to have my mother in my life. I was, you know, I would say I was raised for my teenage years with my dad and my hygiene I pretty much had to learn on my own. So this is from trial and error. I feel like I have a really good feminine hygiene routine. Um, you'll never catch me anywhere smelling bad. Hopefully you won't catch me anywhere looking bad because even if I go somewhere and I look a hot mess, nine times out of ten I have me some type of emergency care bag situation in my car to get myself together. Um, I don't like feeling yucky and sticky and sweaty. I really hate that. I don't like looking a mess. I do not like, when I don't look good, I don't feel good. And when I don't take regular hygiene into consideration, I'ma just show up wherever I'm at with a horrible attitude because I feel horrible. Like, so we're not doing that in 2021. We're not doing that. We gotta work on our femininity, looking good, feeling good, all of that, all of the above. So get your wine, get whatever you're drinking, whether that's water, and let's talk about it. Let's let me show you guys my products, what I use, what I found to be working for myself, and let's get into it. I will give you guys a disclaimer. I don't use 110 products. I found that the simple I make it, the better my body reacts to it. I do have sensitive skin, so I don't like using a bunch of stuff that will break me out or give me a rash or irritate my skin. I really do have sensitive skin. So what I found to work for me may not be what works for you, but if you have sensitive skin and you are looking for a female hygiene routine and you're like a young girl like me, let's get into it. So to start off this video, I just will let y'all know that I put a lot of my hygiene stuff into this bag right here and I brought it into my living room just so I can show you guys and keep everything contained and not like take a long time pausing the video, getting products, pausing it like nah. So if you see this on the side of me, I just have all my feminine hygiene stuff in here. So with my feminine hygiene routine, I'm going to just start from the thing that I start on first, which is my mouth. Um. I had never really regularly, as a child, I definitely did regularly go to the um, dentist and stuff like that. But as an adult, I need to be on top of my appointments and I've been doing that lately, but I have not been to the dentist yet. So, we're going to talk about our mouth. Um, I pretty much use Crest White um, for my toothpaste. Um, I, find, I find that it does help me because I do drink coffee a lot this helps like with the yellowness that comes with the drinking coffee your teeth are getting stained i feel like the the crest 3d white helps my feet helps my teeth like combat that and also like makes my breath like fresh so i really like crest um that's just me personally i also do use an electric toothbrush this is like another head of it but i'm like my my toothbrush is in my restroom i'm not about to bring that in here to show y'all it's just an electric toothbrush you can get them anywhere nowadays they're not really that expensive i feel like electric toothbrushes um just personally for me they just do it better they're not rough but i feel like they just make my mouth feel more refreshed they don't cost a lot you can find them at ross CVS, Walmart, Target, electric toothbrushes are a game changer. Um, just for me personally, I I probably will never go back to a regular toothbrush, toothbrush unless I'm traveling with the military or something. Personally, I love an electric toothbrush. It just it's a game changer. 
Also with my um, hygiene as far as my mouth maintenance of my teeth, I love using this um, Therabreath um, mouthwash because light, uh, what's the other one? That other mouthwash is just, I can't think of the name of it, but it's just too strong for me. I'm not trying to burn my mouth when I'm trying to do the mouthwash routine. I'm not trying to do that. So I just find that this is gentle. It's not burning my mouth, but yet it refreshes and it does the job. It's supposed to clean. It's supposed to, right now it says it is healthy smell, oil rinse, fights cavities for 24 hours, strengthens teeth, and improves the appearance and it freshens your breath. That's all I needed it to do. I'm not trying to be stung when I do this. So I can appreciate this because this is the go. So if you don't. Why y'all messing up my video? Okay. If you don't have this in your routine, you should probably get you some because nobody has time to be burning the back of their throats when they're trying to do the mouthwash. No, we're not doing that. So when it comes to, we did the teeth, um, when it comes to your, your face, I personally love using Aztec clay mask before my face i always use that when like it's that time of the month and i just start breaking out really really bad all over my face as that clay mask and within a day or two it's gone so i love that i am working on more skincare products that are natural and just i just need a good like face exfoliator because a lot of that other stuff be bad for your skin, be tearing your skin. Ooh, that apricot scrub. If y'all are using apricot scrub, I don't believe you should use that as a black girl. It will tear your skin up. Like, that's not good. Them beads are just, it's just too, for me, it's too strong. Let me show y'all the products that I have now that are keeping my acne maintained. So right now, I use a lot of the... Clinique products and I also use a lot of the Olay um, gentle products and this helps my skin maintain and not like it fights what I have already so but I want something to clear it up completely like I'll probably need to see a dermatologist but I've been trying to do things my way like my acne isn't bad but I'm starting to notice that under my chin I'm just getting a lot of acne and I don't know if I need to change my sheets and change my um, pillows more but under the chin that jawline jawline area I'm steady getting acne and I'm getting annoyed with it I love using the Pond's, um face moisturizer because it really does moisturize my face and it doesn't leave my face feeling oily and I like that about that I did have Clinique um, extra dry moisturizer but I stopped using that and I started using ponds so I might start back I don't know but right now this has been life-changing for me especially because I have oily skin but this doesn't feel greasy and it doesn't make me um, produce more oils it just maintains my skin all day without like having to worry about my face looking dry later or producing too much oil my face be maintained like I love this stuff, this ponds. So when it comes to my hygiene routine and my shower routine, I pretty much only, like I told y'all, I have sensitive skin. So your girl can only use sensitive products, really, or like natural products. Um, but all the perfumes, oils, all the good little caress soaps, I don't really get into because I don't want to upset mother nature if you know what i'm saying if you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so i like to use dust sensitive i personally like using their um the the one that's in a big tube and you like squirt it out when you're in the shower but i also have the bar soap so whenever i'm like traveling somewhere or really when people are over my house i don't like sharing body products with people so if i give you something while you're here you can have it or you can throw it away i don't want you using my stuff at all I don't want your hands on my products um so me person I'm weird like that I'm sorry but I just have sensitive skin so I don't even want to think about nobody else I'm like how did they even you I don't know I'm sorry it's a little bit of my mom's oh 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 DM like 
when somebody does too much, yeah, she be doing too much. I got a little bit of that. I be ODing sometimes. Like, I don't want nobody touching my products. I don't want nobody's face on my pillow that I put my face on. Um, I'm kind of weird like that. Comment down below. Like, is that normal? I don't know. But I just have um, the Dove bar soaps and like, a six-pack. I don't use it inside of that area, but I do wash around the area with a good um, exfoliating cloth and a regular cloth. And I use one of those wax scrubbers. Personally, you can get an exfoliating cloth from the dollar store. You can get it from probably Walmart and Target, like Target definitely. Um, this is how mine look. It looked like a cloth, but it has that, it has that texture. I used to use an exfoliating glove, but I found that to be kind of rough on my skin. So I'm like, hold on. I was watching Azealia, um, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Azzy. I was watching one of Azzy. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm tripping. I was watching one of Azzy's videos um, of her hygiene routine like a minute ago. And she was saying she used an exfoliating cloth. And I tried that. I bought one and I tried it and I was like, Never going back to an exfoliating glove again. Never. One out of five stars. This cloth, this cloth is a game changer because I actually reach for it. When you don't like certain products, you don't reach for it. So I like this and I use it on a regular. Okay, so as far as my shower routine, I also use this scrub. I believe I also was recommended this by Azzy because like she become she do have some good products i'm personally just not ODing getting 110 products i don't i don't aspire to have a lot of products in my stuff like i don't i don't want it i want simple clean smell good so but i had to get this because i believe she uses raw sugar scrubs but this scrub is called raw coconut plus mango and when i tell you Put this on before you go to that D appointment. If you don't want to go to that D appointment, just put it on before you go to outside anywhere because this smells so good. It's going to make you feel so clean, so smooth, so soft. Don't say I didn't tell you. If you don't get nothing out of my um, hygiene routine, I'm telling you to try this soap, like this scrub. It's probably no more than 5 $7 at Target. I bought mine from Target. This right here. This right here. Don't say I didn't tell you. I feel like this is not good razors, but to me, this is good razors. Um, the ones with tri the triple blade type of razors, I like this. Not the little cheap, skinny. No, don't get them cheap little razors because you're going to get ingrown hairs. It's not going to be cute. And I don't like... I don't like the ingrown hair situation. It's very uncomfortable. I don't like feeling uncomfortable down there. So, I'm sorry if this is TMI, but get you some good razors. I personally haven't found a good shaving cream, but I do use conditioner when I do shave as my shaving cream. Um, these are the razors I get. And from, from time to time, I do use Nair on my, like, not on my bikini area, but I use it on my, like, if I have any hair on my chin, I'll put it, like, a few dots to where my, I have, like, four chin hairs. I'm sorry. Very TMI. But I have, like, four chin hairs. I'll put some, um, nair on that, or I'll put it on my, like, the little mustache that be coming in. I'll, like, outline my eyebrows. The nair is very clutch. Also, like, with getting out of the shower, I personally like to use bio oil. Y'all see, I got the big can. I used to have the little one, but my sister was like, girl, you can buy a big thing on Amazon for less. So I said, say less. And I got the big thing. And um, it has been lightening my stretch marks, but I got to use it consistently for at least, I'm going to say six months till I can give you guys an update, like video on how this works. But I kind of do swear by this. So if you don't have bio oil, you need to get bio oil. Especially if you have stretch marks or like uneven skin. I also do be putting this on my face sometimes. Not every day because it is an oil. 
but if, sometimes I put this on my face because you know sometimes you have that acne that leaves scars and I'll be like hold on let me put a little of this bio oil on there because it, it can't like hurt no more so it only can help <laughs> this Vaseline lotion is very moisturizing I don't like the I'm sorry to say it it's one brand of lotion that's so creamy and thick that it's so hard to rub in. I don't do that no more. Right now, I just like the Bio Oil Vaseline Glow. And look what, you gotta get this one. This one is going to work. It's the Coco Glow. It's gonna have you glowing like, girl. Also with lotions, and I'm very picky about my lotions because I actually have tried a lot of different lotions out and you don't think it's necessary but it really is like a good lotion can really make a difference in how I personally feel if I want to even wear shorts like I don't even got to be wearing shorts I can have pants on I don't like my skin feeling dry and cracky um I'm sorry if that's not a good description but I feel like I used to have strawberry legs and like my thighs and buttocks area was like strawberry skin because I didn't like have a good lotion or a moisturizing routine now I do like now I can get out the shower and lotion up without feeling like oh my god this is a task I don't like feeling like it something is a task in my life because I won't do it so personally I just like these two products too one of them you you can buy but you can try to make yourself I like this dove um it's Nourishing Secrets Glowing Ritual Body Lotion. Boo, anything with the word glow in it, I'm probably going to want to get. Also, I like using this. Um, and it's in a, in a, this is in a small mason jar. But pretty much it's called Strawberry Pound Cake Cocoa Butter. And it's strawberry scented, but it's cocoa butter. It's very nourishing. Um, I bought it from a co-worker so I can't really tell you guys where to get it because they don't have an online store but I will say if you have coconuts cocoa butters type of stuff at home you can always make your own concoction so y'all see I have like four different moisturizers so yes moisturizing is very important to me also this has a scent in it so I don't usually use any fragrances but I do have some cheap little body like I do have some Bath & Body sprays, but y'all know Bath & Body doesn't like last all day, so I'm not even going to recommend that to you guys. If you guys can find something with a fragrance in it, like an oil base, that will last all day. This lasts all day for me, so I'll put this on top of everything just to seal everything in, and it lasts all day, and I'll be smelling good. Thank you guys for making it to the end of today's video. As always, stay dope, stay beautiful, and stay uplifted. I will see you guys in my next video. That was not even. <laughs> Howdy there. Thank you for making it to the end of today's video. Oh my gosh. Um, I really did enjoy and I couldn't wait to film this video for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't already, boo, go ahead and thumbs up this video and subscribe. Also, while we're at it, watch the next video up top. Y'all see what's playing. Watch, click that video, watch it. I promise you, you're going to get your life. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be dope. Talk to you guys later.